Hey there, Twisted Voxel fans. Today we're diving into the world of VR farming simulators with my review of Across the Valley. I've always been a fan of farming games, especially the more fantasy-themed ones, so I was excited to see how this one would fare in virtual reality. Unfortunately, I have to say, it's been quite a letdown. Let's find out why. Right off the bat, Across the Valley has a unique, hand-drawn cartoony visual style that's charming and vibrant on the PSVR 2's OLED display. The colors pop, and the world feels alive, but it's not enough to carry the game. Once you get past the visuals and dive into the gameplay, that's where the problems begin. One of the biggest issues I encountered were bugs that would have my character teleporting inside objects, lack of interaction, and poor sense controller detection that caused my hands to clip through things. It's frustrating to say the least, and it took away from the overall enjoyment of the game. It feels like the developers had a great idea, but they couldn't quite deliver on the execution. I'm held up guilty, so I got this, I'm winning. I'm not a quitter, so I'm not fucking quitting. Just try to stop me and you'll drop dead missing. I'm on my way to the top. The game's core gameplay loop revolves around daily tasks, a dynamic day-night cycle, and managing your farm. You'll be planting crops, tending to animals, and building up your farmstead. While it sounds great in theory, it just doesn't deliver a fun experience. The UI has potential, but blurry text and issues with reading and game books detract from the immersion. The game tries to create a sense of progression, but it falls short as the gameplay loop becomes repetitive and intrusive. Now listen, I ain't never gonna stop too driven. I ain't never getting lost, got vision. I'ma make this shit hot ignition. The VR aspect of the game, instead of enhancing the experience, actually makes it more tedious. Simple tasks require a lot of effort and constant back and forth with the sense controller. The restricted teleportation is also uncomfortable, especially when seated, making even basic tasks a chore. I've played a lot of VR games, and I can tell you, the controls in Across the Valley feel like a step backward. Another area where Across the Valley could have shined is through social features. Unfortunately, the game doesn't offer any multiplayer options or ways to connect with other players. It feels like a missed opportunity, as collaborating on a virtual farm with friends could have added a lot of value to the experience. Despite a budget price of $19.99, Across the Valley doesn't feel worth it. Even if the bugs and issues are patched later, the core gameplay loop just isn't fun enough to recommend it. With the lack of social features and the tedious gameplay, it's hard to justify giving this game a try. Sadly, I have to give this one a pass. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Twisted Voxel, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and reviews. See you next time.